everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm Amy. And we're Martin Midlife Misadventures. Tell them what we have today. Today we have a thrifting haul for you. Very small. Mm -hmm. And we have a small tractor supply haul for you. Yep. But we also have a small project. And a small project. Let's get to Let's it. Let's do it. Okay, let's start with the thrift store finds. Okay, I want to start with this. Oh, that's my Look favorite. At this. $5, you guys. It holds 10 pounds of potatoes. Isn't it awesome? It For is. 5 bucks. I mean, we could not pass that up. I love it. So, super stoked about that. We also got a jug for cider, vinegar, whatever. Pooch. Who knows? <laughs> 50 cents <laughs> 50 for that. 50 cents. Another 50 cent item, my favorite new hat. Look at the tail on it to keep your neck warm. That's just awesome. love that. Oh, it's so soft, too. 50 cents. And then Ash found this fabric, and it's two yards for a buck. Isn't it pretty? And I think it's going to go really well with our decor once we start doing the remodel. I want to put it in the kitchen. Yeah, I think it'll go good with the backsplash we have picked out. Oh, yeah. And then... Yeah, got... this was kind of sad. Somebody took the time to cross-stitch this, and... It's like a little dish towel. Yeah. 50 cents. Super cute. Had to have that. Uh, we also got these socks, but I'm not, I think these are kid socks. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they'll fit Ashley. <laughs> we'll but see. 50 cents, they're nice and warm. Yeah, super warm. And underneath. And then we also got this bedspread. It's a queen and it is very similar to the one we it's have quilted. now. It's quilted. But it's super warm and worth having an extra one. I think we paid like eight bucks for it. No, it was $10 even. Oh, was it? And Amy already washed it and everything. It's so, so for nice. So for $10, I mean, you can't beat having oh, an Oh, wait, extra this stick. is a thrift item. Oh, yeah. We so were excited. So we got the last two for our uh, Born series. Super stoked about now that. It's complete. Because I love the Born series. And down here, this is a uh, tractor supply. Yeah. So we got these gloves because I've... I'm always on the search for a pair of gloves that will last longer than two weeks. Not get holes. will keep me warm. Well, hi. <laughs> hi, baby. So, we'll see how these work. Um, these were $18. If anybody has any yeah. suggestions for great winter working outdoor gloves for That us. allows you to maintain some sense of dexterity because yeah. I can't... <gasps> Kitty? Oh! <laughs> Gosh. Wow. Psycho. Uh, <laughs> so, gloves. Okay. And then we also got this case of pressed fire logs because they come in handy in the middle of the night when it's very cold. And, and if the fire goes yeah, out, they work. And perfect. behind there, two buckets, $4.99 each, yeah. food grade. Got to get those beans and rice packed up. Yep. And I think that's it this time. Is, Is that, that it? I want to show them what you've been working on inside the house. Okay. All right. What are you working on now? Well, this seems to be the problem here because... It is super hairy from all the animals yep. rubbing up against everything. It Everything kind of sits on the ground. All my stuff does. So, I'm going to cut some wood. I'm going to take this off. And this will be a wood wall eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't have enough wood to do the whole wall right now. So, I'm just going to do two main pieces right here so I can get this up here. Nice. Then we can hang your snow pans yeah. and all the really long things. What a great idea. So, I'm going to go cut some wood. All right. Very, there's your first slat. All right. Let's go see if it fits. Okay. All right. Look perfect. at that. That's going to be perfect. So, what's the next step? Uh, I'm going to go sand. All right. What you doing? I'm going to show Shoogie Bon our wall. Oh, how good is that? I'm not sure how dark I'm going to go yet. Uh-huh. But I am going to seal it with some linseed oil, so. That'll be great. And I don't have the right brush that I've always used. I can't find it, so I'm going to have to improvise. What's going on now? So, I've already brushed off a lot of the charcoal. Uh-huh. So now, 
Right, right. She wants a drink, Mommy. I'm just going <laughs> to brush it off with some water. Look at the reds come through. Looks really good. This is the side we'll have facing out. Look at that knot. I oh, love it. Looks beautiful. Looking good, Wally. There you go. It's popping out now. Oh! There it goes. So the back of this is our shower. That's why it's so flimsy. Uh huh. But that's why they put it up there because otherwise it'll look like that. Now we're going to have a nice piece of wood up there. Yep. It'll be awesome. What are you doing? I'm camouflaging these until I can. Oh, your little screws? Yeah, until I can find the ones that I want to use. She's got it all tacked up there, and it looks great. I might go lighter on the next one. We'll see. Look at that. So I did cover these with linseed oil. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to make the next ones lighter. I'll just slowly yeah. make them lighter. You're going to ombre them? I don't know if I'm going to do a total ombre. I love it. I it's want more of the reds to come through. You're so awesome. You are. <laughs> That's going to be perfect. Gosh, I hope it... oh. Look at that. I got to put our other hook right here. Oh, that's going to be so good. We can hang snow pants, all of it. Yep. Your overalls that you're wearing right now. Good yeah. job. So, Thank nice. you so much. Oh, my gosh. This is exactly what I wanted. You did It'll look such so a great job. Once it's all the way down the wall. I know, but I want to show, like, now we have room. So our we boots. can, yeah, we can put all our boots in a row down there next to our spittoon. <laughs> and you know what I think I'm going to do once I get the rest of the wall up? Huh? I think I'm going to put hooks. In between? In between. I'm loving that idea. Couldn't yeah. you just put another board and then attach them to there? Well, yeah, but I want to do the whole wall. Oh, I see. Wood. Love it. All right, everybody, how about that thrifting haul? We were thrilled to find that queen-size quilt. Yeah. $10, that's the way to do it. You need to stock up on lots of blankets, especially if you're in an environment yeah. where if your power goes out, you're it's in the cold. freezing cold. Yeah, the more blankets and uh, things like that that you have, the better. Never know when a cat's going to do a hairball in the middle of the night. And you got to <laughs> change. No joke, though. Yeah. Huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Having extra is important, and especially if you don't have access to water, it'll be long-term in between washing Washings, things. yeah. And that potato container is my favorite. It's so cool. I love it. I just love that. And that rack Amy put up. Yeah. I think once so we, once I get the whole wall done, it's going to add so much um, oh. storage space for us because yeah. everything can hang. Yeah. And I'm working on a closet rod right now in the bathroom. So yep. turning the bathroom into a closet. Yeah. Temporarily. So we've we've got some projects going on. We thought we would share with you. We hope you are well. We hope you are prepping, staying focused, stocking those yeah. pantries, right? Stay stay aware. Because now people know. Yeah. Now the naysayers, people And that's crazy though, because some still don't know. Some like, still don't how? but <laughs> They're talking about it. The world is talking about it now that this inflation and the shortages yeah. are real deals. So do yourself a favor and your family is a favor and just keep stocking those pantries even if it's one can at a time. Yeah, get what you can when you can for as long as you can. <laughs> Ryan doesn't like she, that we're uh, not paying attention. Yeah, and the cat's right here so she can't jump up on the bed to be right here. And she sometimes sounds like Chewbacca. She does. We should have named her Chewy for sure. Oh. All right, everybody, you stay safe and well and we are going to be talking to you really soon. God bless you all. Peace.